The following tutorial shows the advanced menu. While features within it are useful, they're not supported and are subject to change. Please use at your own risk and have an awesome second life. Normally, your selection distance is limited. Meaning, if I select something that's fairly close to my avatar, like this red pointer, I can right-click and edit. It goes in edit mode, and it's hence selected. However, if it's further off, like let's look at, oh, this cube here, quite a distance. If I try to click it, notice it won't select, and neither will in edit mode. If I click, left-click, and drag, I can't select that. However, if I go to the advanced menu, and then this is turned on by default, if you click to turn off limit select distance, it'll do what it says. And now, notice how I can select things which are further. If you're wondering why this is useful, it could be if you're a builder with a very vast and sprawling construct, you can, of course, select the extents of it if you have a big parcel and move. Now, I can select anything that I see like this. And although I don't own these objects and I don't have permission to move them, that's just a taste of what you can do. Let's look at this example. I'm in a public sandbox and I own this glowing pink cube. Normally, I can't select it at that distance from me. Okay, but again, advanced menu and turn off limit select distance and now I can click on it and I can bring it forward or move it in any dimension like any other object that's owned by me. Just remember that and also remember you can draw a selection rectangle over it if there are multiple objects and you want to select them like so. So go ahead and try it at your own risk. <laughs> Limit select distance in the advanced menu.